On any given day at the Portland Art Museum, there is plenty to see. But for this small tour group winding through the hallways, the best exhibit is just around the corner to the Miller Gallery in the Mark Building, which, first of all, pretty much breaks the biggest rule of any museum. Look, but don't touch. I don't know. Oh. Chris Maher and her friends came today to experience the museum in a whole new way. See, I couldn't see that yeah. even in the picture. Now I do. And this looks like snow or yes. something else. Yes. That pulled it all together. Right. Right. Thank you. Oh my gosh, of course. And so now I can feel it. Okay. To get a perspective of what it is without knowing it even, and to be able to get the, ta the tactiles and the meaning of it is beyond words. Just a really great moment uh, to be able to have this kind of access and to be thinking about really listening to um, individuals in our community who are blind or partially sighted. Usually a, a trip to the museum for a blind person is a long, slow, quiet walk through a large building. But this is really wonderful, especially to be part of a tactile art exhibit so I can share it with my peers. My name is John Furness. I am a blind artistic woodworker. It's really wonderful. I love it that it's an inclusive event like this because in my experience, usually when I go to the museum, it's a long, slow, quiet walk. Vancouver artist is on a mission to share his paintings with the blind and visually impaired. Leonard Locatus created paintings made of reclaimed wood and his pieces, as you can tell, you see here, they're really beautiful things, works of art here and uh, of course visually appealing, but it wasn't until the Recycled Art Festival last weekend that he realized that his art could be a little bit more than just visual. Mm -hmm. 